So you guys, I think Kevin is a little pissed at me for calling him a wimp. Because of that, he's going to go into the grocery store and try and take out the zombie inside of the grocery store and then be able to go and get some items. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not, but <laughs> he wants to do it, so I'm going to let him. Here is our first movement. Oh, yeah, we should be able to get in there. Second movement, so second action. Oh, in we go. But now we immediately have to fight that zombie. So because we found the zombie inside of the grocery store, we need to immediately fight it. What's going to happen is each round we first get to shoot, since we have a gun, we get to shoot this one time to try and knock over the zombie. If we do, we have won and the zombie is eliminated from the game. If we miss, then we draw one of these cards and one of these cards will show footprints and will move the zombie up closer to us as uh, each time we miss him. But one of these cards is an automatic, they hit us, and that would mean Kevin would die. So we literally could die on this first card draw. But hopefully that won't even happen because I'm going to try and flick this over and hit that zombie first shot. Let's see. Come on. This is my gun shot. Come on. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was really cool, but I just I want to show you. I'm, it's almost a bummer that I did that. Let's see. Okay, good. So if I had missed, he then would move up to here, and then I would shoot again. Okay, so let me draw again. Oh, he would move up again to here, and then I'd shoot again if I missed. Oh, he'd move up again to here, and then if I missed again, oh, he'd continue to keep moving up. This card. If I had drawn this card, Kevin would have automatically died. But Kevin sniper shopped him, so <laughs> don't have to worry about that. So I've placed Kevin inside of the grocery store. His turn is done, and now I think because he shot a gun, I mean, I know he only did movement normally, but I think since he shot a gun, we're going to have to do a zombie rush. And I should say, I mean like a big zombie rush instead of just one zombie. So this is the one that is the closest. We'll grab these two, an eight, a six, and a two. And there is a chance if they go into that building, they could go in there. They have to land somewhere in this area. They would go into the grocery store and you have to fight another one. So let's see if that happens. Nope. Instead, they just take out the car, which I kind of assumed was going to happen. So we are supposed to pick up the car and we'll leave the zombies kind of where they're at and put the car back up. Okay, let's move on to the next player. Our next player is going to be Thomas. We're going to flip this token. He's doing one item action. Ooh, it's going to be another Crossroads card. And we have, are you serious? Golden Hero. If Sparky is in the game and cannot currently activate, he immediately plays up to three actions. Oh, he's not in the game. So I think it's useless. But that's it's a really cool uh, addition to the game. You can have Sparky come in. It's like a mini expansion. But that card doesn't let him come out. If he was, if he was out, he would have activated. Bummer. Okay, second action. Let's see what this is. Oh, yes, we have another survivor. That's one of our two objectives we need to do. So this looks like a male token here. There's one male and one female. So I'm going to take these three random male ones, uh, male to uh, survivors, and grab one of them. So we're going to now have John Price as well, and I'll place him inside the gas station. And what's really nice, he'll also be able to activate now. So we've got two people in the gas station. He totally can activate if we want it. But first, we need to finish Thomas's turn. And since the closest zombie is standing up, that zombie is going to move towards that building. So we'll put him here. This is a number four. Let's see where he goes. Not far at all. Oh, you never know, right? You never know. But that zombie was kind of pathetic. I think next we're going to have Anita go. Anita is over here in the hospital. So she's going to try and move out of the building. So let's see. One. Yes. Now, she's going to get her butt out of Dodge to try and get over to the RV so she can drop off that gasoline or fuel. But remember, she can't hit anything. If she hits anything, she's going to have to stop right where she is here. So come on. Okay, that wasn't terrible. And when I say it wasn't terrible, it actually is terrible. Because do you see what the closest zombie is? Yeah, and he's standing up. So there is a good chance she's going to take a wound here. Let's see. So first thing he does is he turns towards her. And then we put this right behind him. And he's a one. Oh, man. Come on. Airball it. Oh, <laughs> I think that was a terrible. I, 
<laughs> sometimes this this uh, tower has a problem. Um, I think it has to do with I didn't get this fully on straight. So let me try that one more time. Okay, let's go. Oh, she was hit, but she didn't get knocked over. So she's okay. Oh, if that zombie was standing and was that close, she would automatically take a wound. But he's down. So she doesn't take a wound. She's all right. Oh, we might as well activate the new guy, John. So he is in the gas station. I'm going to try and get him over to the police station. Let's see. Can I do it in one? That would be so cool. Ah, uh, no. I'm going to have to take two. That still isn't terrible. One, two. He is now going to be inside of the police station, ready to go collect these next turn. Also, the closest zombie for him, and he didn't do any sort of loud noise, is this zombie that will just stand right back up. Last one to go for this round will be Gabriel. Gabriel's going to spend one action and flip over this item. Oh, yeah, he got the sniper gun. Hopefully, I'll get to show you how to use that. That will be awesome. So he'll put that in his supply. And then his second action will be to pick up this one. And we have, are you serious? He has both guns? He's going to have to give one. That's the shotgun. That also is awesome. The closest zombies for him are right here. So they're just going to stand up. And that's going to end the round. Wow, you guys, I don't have a lot of rounds left here. <laughs> so I'm going to move this over to one and a half. We're now in the night phase. All zombies need to stand back up. Uh, we'll do that quick. And then we're going to spawn. And now since we're in the night, we're going to spawn four more zombies. I didn't realize this, you guys, but Anita is in danger. She, This is going to be four zombies. There's a good chance she's going to get injured here. Let's see. Oh, she was hit by number six. The football zombie. <laughs> and then the zombie will just move up to make sure to stay within bounds. But yeah, she will take a wound. Well, that is most definitely the do not go area over there. Jeez Louise. She takes a wound. She only has one health left. Let's start the next round. I think the first one we'll activate is John over here. And let's see what his tokens are. We've got, ooh, a health token. So he now has three health, I believe. I think that's how that works. He just gets another health. And then his second action will be <gasps> to find more fuel. Okay, we only need to find one more survivor and, of course, get that fuel back to the RV. Oh, that's going to be fun. I think we found our closest zombie, so I'm just going to grab that over here, place him here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, is that standing up? I'm going to call that standing up. That was a cool roll by a zombie. So I'll give the zombie the benefit of the doubt. That's the zombie standing up. Kevin in the grocery store is going to go next. He's going to flip this token, if I can get it. Oh, yes, there is our second survivor. You know what that means? We now just have to get the fuel back to the RV. Here are our female survivors, not looking, just going to grab one. We have Rosa Rodriguez. Oh, look at that gun. <laughs> oh, whoops, there you go. Yeah, she looks cool. We'll place her right here in the grocery store as well. So Kevin has one more action. He could pick up this token here, but we've already found what we need. He could try and shoot out of the building at a zombie. He could try and get this one. And you guys saw how awesome his sniper abilities are, so why the heck not? I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see what you can do, Kevin. Come on. Oh, I missed. Instead, I hit the truck. <laughs> Darn it. And now we're going to have a big zombie rush. Seems to me Kevin got a little bit too cocky, although he did get pretty close there. I was, I was actually kind of amazed. But I'll we'll put those there. Grab the three closest zombies. Here's a six. Here's an eight, which is somewhere. I don't even know where an eight is. I think it's up there. And then a two right there. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's always just so funny to watch the zombies roll about. I think I'm going to have John go next. He's going to try and move out of the police station. He's the one that has the fuel, okay? So one action just to get out of there. And then two, he's going to try and get to the RV, which is way this way. That was actually not a very good flick, so hopefully I can do a better flick here. Ah, uh, still not good. Hard part here is I don't know which zombie is closer. This one... This one, I, I, I think this one's closer, so we're going to do that one. Fortunately, it was just a simple uh, move action, so we don't have to worry about having multiple zombies, but this number three could be bad. 
Oh, no. <laughs> he, went, he went way over by the gas station. So we are set to go. Not a problem there. Look, Anita is not far from the RV. So she is going to do some movement. So we'll replace her with this. Come on. Okay, not bad. We just need her to get in. Let's see. Yes! So she is in, and we'll drop off one of the two fuel that we need for the RV. We just need one more, which I believe John has. So I think we should be able to win this next round. Closest zombie is way over here. So we'll put this here. A three. There we go. And we're going to go right for that lamppost. Oh, nope. Didn't even hit the lamppost. Next, let's get Gabriel out of this library. He's got two weapons or two guns. Let's see what he can do. So I need a good flick out of here. Oh, I hit a zombie. Bummer. So that means I have to redo or I don't get to move. I failed my move. This is my second action. Bummer. I was trying to hit it really far and I hit it too hard. Let's see. Okay. That way, yeah, it's annoying, but, and this zombie stands up for his activation and he goes right here. That means the next round he'll have some zombies to attack, which is what I want. I really want to show you those guns. Okay. I just remembered we only have one zombie in the bin, so we have to eliminate one. So I'm going to have Thomas go next. He's first going to move out of the gas station. Awesome. Of course, I flicked it where you can't see it. Sorry about that. But here it is. So we'll place him right here. And then he's going to use this gun because he has a gun. Oh, I almost missed to take out that zombie. Whew. So that means now we have two zombies in the bin. There's actually only two standing zombies. So I'm going to take this one because that's the closest one. And we'll aim this this way and put that there. Oops there and there and we're gonna drop them off oh nobody was hit thank goodness but boy did they move so i think the only one left to do is rosa so we're gonna first get her out of this building which what is which building is this oh yeah the grocery store all right movement nice and i think for her second action she's gonna go and try and get close to that zombie so she can take him out next time to protect uh who is it john john who's bringing the fuel Okay, that's not amazing, but not terrible. So we'll put her right here. I honestly don't know which zombie should stand up, but it doesn't really matter because they're all going to stand up anyways at the end of this round. So that one stands up, oh yeah, and faces her. Okay, we're going to move to the next round. This is going to be a day round, thank goodness, because we'll spawn only two zombies instead of four, and then I'm really hoping that we can get John right into the RV and we're set to go. Don't forget, though, first thing is all zombies have to stand back up. Here we go. These two zombies, I'm betting they're going to take out at least two or three of these zombies and knock them over. Let's see. Nope, totally missed. This one went way outside of the boundaries, so we just put them back into the boundaries. But, yeah, of course, when I say that they're going to hit something, of course they won't. <laughs> Let's start with John. So John, holding the fuel needed to be able to get out of this town, just has to get there. Can he do it? There's one, and this should be easy. Two. Boom! We'll drop that fuel right here. We have the two fuel and the two survivors. We just won the game. So there you have it. That's Flick em Up, Dead of Winter. Like I told you guys, there are five scenarios that are cooperative and five scenarios that are competitive or uh, team versus team or maybe there's a betrayal, just, just different ways. Um, I showed you most of the mechanics. The things I didn't show you were like shooting the cool guns, which I'm kind of bummed about. So I might actually just show you that now just for fun. So here we have Gabriel, here we have the zombies. Let's say he has the rifle, which actually he does. You have this, and this just helps you aim a little bit better, so when you flick it, you actually hit what you're aiming at, which is nice. The shotgun, you have a total of five of these little small bullets, and you just gotta make sure that they um, go back and forth. And let's see, there we go. I don't know if you're really supposed to put six in here. I would assume it's this amount. And you fill that up, and then all you do is you flick them. And look at that. Took out two zombies. Well, maybe. But so they spread out, which is really cool. And then the knife. The knife. If you have the knife, you actually point it straight up and down, and you have to flick it. And let's see. Oh, I, don't, I totally missed. Come on. Come on. 
Nope, failed again. Yeah, the knife is a little bit harder. You're basically throwing the knife. There is a crossroad event, which lets you actually lay it down on its side, and it's a lot easier. There we go. It's a lot easier to do the flicking, so to speak. But I have to say, just the regular gun... Oh, come I was about to say, I'm not too shabby at it, but I just missed. <laughs> but yeah, those are the other weapons that you guys didn't see. So I would say for the game, the game's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, if you watch Dice Tower's review, they say it's hard, and maybe it's because I have it too spread out on the board. I, I like having open space, but I find this game really not hard. I haven't lost yet. I've played four times, haven't lost. Um, I've only played solo, though. I can't wait to play this with my wife and my kids. I think my kids will love it. But I'm probably going to only be with the cooperative side of these because I'm not really interested in playing competitively dexterity games. That's not a lot of fun. And if I want to do that, I can do the regular flick em up anyways. Because I think the regular flick em, flick em up, from what I've read, I haven't played it, is better than this one. But this is so much fun cooperatively. I mean, I, I had a lot, of a lot of fun playing it solo. I can't even imagine playing it cooperatively, rooting your, your teammates on to be able to flick something. <laughs> and it just looks really cool on the actual table. What's really hard with this camera, since I'm, I'm videoing overhead, you don't get the best view. But I mean, look at this. Nice looking art. It kind of brings you into the theme itself of the game. Yeah, it is plastic and cardboard, so these aren't wooden, which I think flick flick them up. The Western one, they were actually wooden, uh, but it I don't really miss it. I don't I don't really notice a difference. And I shouldn't say miss it because I don't even have it. If I have flick them up, but I don't feel like I need the wooden the wooden tokens on this game. I'm totally fine with the plastic, at least for me. But yeah, there you have it. That's flick them up, Dead of Winter. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks so much for watching.